Hello, and I'm wondering if someone can help me. So I've got a 3D printing problem with my CR30. So I'm not new to 3D printing. I've got an i3 duplicator, an Ender 3, and a um, Creality CR10S. So all those printers properly functional and working. My problem that I have is that I have one of the first CR30s and um, I have not been able to get it to print satisfactorily since I've had it. So I can get it to print, um, I can get it to adhese. The problem is my prints keep coming off the bed um, during print. So I've leveled it a thousand times. I'll just run through what usually happens. So this is one of the pieces, a test piece that I've been printing. Um, it's a cube and Basically, as the print head's printing, um, the further along it gets, the print head starts pushing on the print and it pushes on it until it dislodges. So that bit there is um, an anchor, anchor piece. I've used a slicer um, Kirimoto by Gridspace, which is what I seem to have had the most success with, but it's still not working. I've tried printing it on a different angle um, so instead of front on, on a different angle, same result, it, it gets, um, well, about that far and um, pushes on the, pushes on the top of the print. You can actually see the bed um, picking up uh, as it's pushing it. So it got me thinking there's not a great deal of information about this around. So I found um, some information on the internet uh, from Knack 3D Designs, I think it is, White Knight, and I believe that he had a lot to do with the um, the software for this. So I um, got a um, I got a updated firmware, which I believe is his, and um, put that in. I can get a print to adhese, no problem at all. It's just when when there's height involved it it breaks the adhesion it pushes the print forward so i found that you could do a hundred millimeter um calibration piece and then change the z set values so what i printed the first piece i printed was um around about 98.5 mil long i can't remember the exact measurements but it was you know at least 1.5 percent out so i thought that would be the problem so um so then I, what did I do? Divided by 100 the length of the test block and then multiplied it by the value of the, the original value. Um, and that came out with a, a different number. So I put that in. And then what happened was the next test piece was actually even shorter again. It was around the 96 millimeter mark. So definitely um, not advancing far enough on the Z steps. Um, so I thought with changing the Z step number, the calibration piece should be close to a hundred millimeters because I have seen that on one of 3D printing nerds videos. Um, and his was spot on. Unfortunately, mine's gone the opposite way and it's got even shorter. So I multiplied that number by, um, divided by a hundred, multiplied by the Z steps again. Think there might have been a problem with the first piece or whatever anyway it was even shorter again and now it's at the point now where um it actually won't even print um it fails you know um a little bit into the print i think that might be one there this is what i'm usually getting something like this um so the anchor apart from not adhesing very well on this corner here which i suppose would be the right looking from the front um it's not too bad um but it's not working so can anyone help me i've got um and does anyone know what the original z step number is so i've got mine written down here somewhere um the original number i had was 1148 so 1148.4 um, and the piece that I printed out first from that step was 98.35.
And then the second piece was actually 96.63, so it got worse. And then the piece after that actually didn't even print, it failed um, miserably. So short of putting a random Z-step value in, I don't really know where to go for, from here, but I'm hoping for some help. I'll put a little video of what happens with the print and it yeah, definitely pushes forward. Hopefully someone can help me.